Welcome to the Chess Your Map. Hi friends, today we are going to discuss laws of logarithms and the problems using this. In our previous videos, we have seen the basics of logarithms and the problems using that. And now we are going to discuss the laws of logarithms. The first law, log to the base a x plus log to the base a y is equal to log to the base a x y. That is, here it is in addition. That is individual. Individually it is in addition. That is log x plus log y is equal to log x y. So, we call this as multiplication law. Here, the base is a. Log to the base a. So, I am using these logs with base a. So, in general, I am just saying as log x minus log y is equal to log x by y. So, if it is in subtraction, this will become division. So, we call this as division law. And here, this is the power rule. Log x power k is equal to k log x. So, this k will come to the front. So, log x power k is equal to k log x. This we call it as power law. And here, these are some special cases. So, log 1 by x is equal to log x power minus 1. So, this 1 by x I am writing it as x power minus 1. And here I can apply the power rule. So, this minus 1 will come to the front. When we use the power law, when k is equal to minus 1, this will become minus 1 log x. So, minus 1 is nothing but minus, minus 1 log x is same as minus log x. And log to the base a, a is equal to 1. And log 1 is equal to 0. So, these are some special cases. And using this, we are going to solve, we are going to do some problems. Now, we are going to do problems using these laws of logarithms. So, first question, write as a single logarithm. So, here, now, we have the problem as log 6 plus log 7. So, the base here is 3. So, log 6 plus log 7. So, I am using the first multiplication law. So, if it is in addition, then it will become multiplication. So, I am using the first law of logarithm. So, log, if it is in addition, it will become multiplication. So, 6 into 6 into 7. So, what is the first law? Log x plus log y is equal to log x y. So, I am using this rule. So, x is 6 and y is 7. So, 6 into 7. So, 6 7. 6 7 are 42. So, now we have made this log as a single logarithm. So, the answer is log to the base 3 42. Now, let us do the next problem. So, next problem, this is the second subdivision, write as a single logarithm. So, here it is in subtraction, that is minus. So, we are going to use the second law, second law of logarithm, that is division law. What is the division law? Log, you can write the base also. So, log x minus log y is equal to log x by y. So, that is the second law of logarithm, the, which is called as division law. So, log, this can be written as log 15 over 3, that is 15 by 3. So, log 2, so once again I am writing the same, 15 by 3 is 5. Now, we have written this log as a single logarithm. So, here we used 
multiplication law and here we use division law. That is second law. Here we use first law. Now I have written the both as a single logarithms. So next problem, write as a single logarithms 2 log 3 plus 3 log 2. So here I am applying the power rule first. That is, what is the power rule? Log x power k can be written as k log x. So this is the power rule. Okay, so I am applying the power rule here. So, first step, log 5, this what is in the front will go to the power. So, what is in the front of the log will go to the power. So, what is in the front 2? So, this will become 3 power 2. What is in the front of the log will go to the power. See here, what is in the front of the log will go to the power. Then, same here also what you have to do, log to the base 5, 2, what is in the front of the log, that will go to the power. Okay. So, next step, now 3 square can be written as 9. Then, 2 power 3, that is 2 cube, can be written as 8. So, now it is in addition so, we can use the first law of, first law of logarithm that is log x plus log y is equal to log x y. So, here log 5, log to the base 5, 9 into 8. You are using the multiplication law, first law of logarithm. Then it will be 9 into 8. So, 9 is 72. Now, we have converted this to single logarithm. So, we have applied two rules, the power rule and the multiplication rule. And we have made it, is, made it into single logarithm. So, next problem, you have to write this as a single logarithm. Log 3 minus 4 log 1 by 2. So, here also you are going to apply the power rule first. Here, you have to keep the log 3 as such. Then, you are applying the power rule. So, what is power rule? 1 by 2, the whole power 4. So, base 10 and base 10. So, what is the power rule? Log x power k can be written as log x, k log x. Okay. So, you can write the base. So, this step once again I am writing. So, log to the base 10, 3 minus log to the base 10, 1 by 2, 1 over 2, the whole power 4. So, what I am writing is, uh, which is in the front, that you are writing as power, right? So, which is in the front of log, that I am writing it as power. Same thing I am writing, and which is in the front of log, I am writing it as power. That is the power rule. Then, now, log. 3 minus log 1 by 2 that is 1 over 2 the whole power 4 can be written as 1 by 16 ok now this is here we are going to apply the second law of logarithm that is division law log x minus log y is equal to log x over y that is x by y so when you apply this log 10 3 by 1 over 16 so this when you calculate this 1 by 16 this 16 will go to the numerator or else you can calculate using the calculator or else you can just divide this 3 divided by 1 by 16 so, I will do here 3 divided by 1 by 16. If you apply the reciprocal rule, it will be 3 16 by 1 which is nothing but 48. Or else you can directly use your calculator and write the answer. So, log to the base 10 48. 
the same thing I have written here. So now I have converted this to a single logarithm. So next problem, write in terms of log x, log y and log z. Here the basis a. So you have to write in terms of log x, log y and log z. So this is a single logarithm. Now we are going to write as uh, log x, log y and log z. So what is the first problem? Log to the base a, x square root y by z. Now we are going to start the problem. That is, what is the first step? You are going to apply the second law. That is, log x minus log y is equal to log x over y. That is log x minus log y is equal to log x by y. So here, which is in the numerator, x root y, I am writing as such. And then, which is in the denominator, I am writing here. So in the first step, we have used the division law. That is second law of um, algorithm. So numerator we have written as log x root y minus log z using this division law. If it is log x minus log y we can write it as log x by y. If it is log x by y then we can write it as log x minus log y. So this is in division way and I have written using uh, minus that is I have applied this rule. Just see the next step. So here it is a multiplication. So I am applying this rule. That is the first law of logarithm. So what is the first law of logarithm? Log x plus log y is equal to log xy. So now this is in the form log xy. So I am writing it as log x plus log y. This is in the form log xy and I am writing as log x plus log y. So x root y. So I am writing it as log x plus log root y. Okay. So this I am writing it as log x plus log root y using this law. Then minus log a z. This I am writing it as as such. Okay. So the next step. This is not power. This is in the. So uh, in the next step I will write it clearly. So log a x plus log a square root y minus log a z. So here. This I, I can I can't change because nothing is there to change, so I'm keeping it as as such. And here I can write this uh, um, square root y as y power half, y power half. This can be written as y power half, and this log uh, z I'm writing as such. And in the next step, I'm applying power rule. So what is the power rule? Log x power k can be written as k log x, k log x. So base you can write it as a. So if it is in the power then we will write it in the front of log. So the power is half here. So half log a y minus this I am writing it as as such. So the final answer is log x half log y minus log z. So what is the question? This logarithm you are going to write in terms of log a x, log a y and log a z. So now you have written us, written in terms of log x, log y and log z. So this is your answer. So next problem, what do you have to do? This one you have to write in terms of log x, log y, log z. So the same step should be followed. So what is given here? It is in division. So if it is in division, log x by y, how can you write it as? Log x minus log y. So what is the first step? Log a x minus log to the base a, a power 4. Then we are going to apply the power rule. So what is the power rule? x power k is equal to k log x. So this is the 
power root so if it is in power that goes to the front so 4 log a a okay now log minus 4 and we know the rules we have seen these uh, laws special laws in the special cases in the introduction so what is the law log to the base a if both are a then the answer is 1 the rule is the value is 1 so log to the base a a is equal to 1 so here I am applying that then you will be getting minus 4 so now you have converted this value to a sing, to a, this single logarithm in terms of log x log y log z but here uh, all only the variable involved is x so you'll get the answer also with x only no other variables are involved so you'll be getting the answer only in x so this is the final answer if you have any doubt you can post it in the comment box and the continuation of these problems we'll do it in the next video and thank you thanks for watching like and comment please to subscribe to our channel